Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for quite a while. I want to say about two months. Uh, turns out I had some art block. Um, in today's video we're going to be working in my sketchbook. I'm pretty excited. I only have a few spreads left in this one and I will officially have filled my first ever sketchbook and I'm really excited to show you guys the tour of it. So while I am working on this spread, I just kind of wanted to talk about Art Block, how it affected me, and how I'm getting over it in hopes that some of the things that maybe I did could help you too if you're in the same kind of situation. I feel like what happened to me was I was kind of in the delayed reaction to the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and I feel like 2021 has been harder for me than 2020 was. I definitely feel like I'm one of those people that faces what's in front of them at the current time. And now I'm kind of reflecting on what we all went through. And suddenly it was kind of like I would wake up and be completely instantly overwhelmed just by just by waking up like I would be completely overwhelmed have really high anxiety um, depression was in there the kids were having a hard time reacclimating to school and that became a problem like I was constantly getting phone calls and like things just got rougher this time around like since January actually has been pretty rough for us um, so I don't know, like my body has kind of like a fight or flight situation and I feel like it went into survival mode in 2020 and now I feel like I'm feeling the effects of everything that we went through. I cannot tell you how many YouTube videos I started, how many pictures I tried to draw, how many digital art things I tried to create, and it's like I would start, and it's like I literally could not, like my hands and my brain were not working together, I could not finish it. Like no matter how hard I tried, I could not create anything. So what I did was decided not to create anything at all. So the first thing I did to try to get over my art block was um, I read a lot. I, I read a lot more this year than I think I've read in any other year. Um, and I also listened to a bunch of audiobooks just to kind of clear my mind. And surprisingly, uh, I really think reading does increase your imagination and give you a bunch of ideas. Like I had a bunch of ideas while I was... Um, listening to books and reading books of, of art pieces and stuff that I could make. So uh, reading definitely, it gives you something else to focus on. So your brain has like this opportunity to kind of, well, I mean, that's what happens when you read a book. You basically make a movie in your head and it opens up other parts of your brain for creativity, in my opinion. So I think I'm at a total of 24 books so far this year. And I definitely think that reading really, really, really helped me get over some of my art block. So the second thing I did was spend a lot of time outside. We set up a gazebo with some solar lights and just kind of put a lot of energy into making our yard look nice. Um, and it was just, it was very, like, it's very a different experience staying outside for most of the day than staying inside. And I just feel like the, as cliche as it is, and people are like, go outside to get rid of art block. I can definitely attest to the fact that it does work. Um, so going outside and working on outside things definitely helped me a lot in this process also. And the third and last thing that I did to try to get over my art block was put my creative energy into something else. So I started doing home improvement. <laughs> um, so I'm working on a bedroom now and it's just, it's really fun to put it all together and pick out different decor and spend time painting a room. It ended up being very therapeutic and I was able to put some creative energy into a project instead of trying to put a lot of pressure on myself for completing an art piece. Um, so I highly recommend home improvement or any kind of creative project around your house if you're having some art block. 
So those are my three tips and the things that I did to get over my art block. I hope if you're in an art block, those three tips could possibly help you get out of a rut also. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this painting. Here are some close-up shots. And as I said before, I'm very close to filling the sketchbook and I can't wait to have a first completed sketchbook under my belt because I am almost 36 years old and I have never completed a sketchbook. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.